Hi guys, how are you doing? I uh, hope you're doing great as usual. And this is Statistic for All series, lecture number 12. And today our topic is regression analysis. Perhaps one of the most important and uh, interesting concept in regression, uh, sorry, in statistic. Uh, so uh, I'm really excited to uh, talk about this topic. So I hope you're also, right? Okay, Koka Manzur is here, teacher, trainer, and life coach. Uh, there's my WhatsApp number. You can see the YouTube link and Facebook page. Uh, there are many videos uh, on YouTube. You can get benefit from it, right? So let's begin. <clears throat> what is regression analysis? Uh, what is regression? Basically, uh, regression is a technique uh, where we are trying to predict one variable or another. One variable is known as independent variable and the other is known as dependent variable. Usually we denote uh, independent variable with X and dependent variable are denoted by Y. So we just want to, to see, just wanted to know what if we change the independent variable so what will be its impact on the dependent variable? Or uh, how much independent variable is de depend, uh, affecting the dependent variable, right? So it is a technique concerned with predicting some variables by knowing the other. So like, for example, if we say that smoking causes cancer, so we want to know that how much increase in the smoke uh, cigarettes can lead to what degree of cancer, right? So means we independent variable here is a cigarette and dependent variable here is a cancer, right? Or similarly, uh, we want to see that uh, whether the advertisement will increase the sales. So we want to say advertisement is an independent variable here in this case and sales will be dependent. So how much increase in uh, advertisement can lead to how much increase in the sales and so on and so forth, right? So this is what basically regression is. So uh, what you say? X is always known for the independent variable and Y is known as dependent variable. So we used Y for it, right? So uh, this is, you need to remember this. So if you remember in the last video, we have discussed correlation. In correlation, what we have done, we just try to establish the relationship between two variables, whether there exists a positive or negative relationship and whether the relationship is strong or weak. And we had a strong, uh, sorry, a straight linear line for that. If you remember in the last video, we have done it. If you have not seen that video, please do watch that video. The link of uh, that video is given in the description, right? So what does line linear mean? A straight line. So it was a kind of a graph uh, um, like this, right? So this is a positive relationship. And similarly, we had another graph for negative relation. So such straight lines are known as linear. So this is what we have done in correlation. Now, the question is how to draw this line, right? And uh, how to draw this line, we that regression will help us that how to draw that straight line as described by the correlation. So this is basically, uh, this technique is used for that purpose. So you see, uh, we have this data uh, in the last video we have taken, uh, the, this lecture we have taken this data, we have plotted these yellow dots and then we draw this line, but that was an hypothetical line. Now we will take, we'll make the original line from with the help of that data by using the regression analysis. So regression means what? How we can use this best fit. See the word best, calculate the best fit line. This was in the last lecture, we just draw by a vertical line, but now in this lecture, we will draw the best fit line with the help of available data, right? Now let's see how it works, right? <clears throat> There's a formula for it. This is called as Y cap, that is equal to A, A shows intercept. Uh, I will explain a little later, plus B X, right? Or we can also write Y cap is equal to Y bar plus B X minus X bar. And how to calculate this B? This is beta. Beta can be calculated with the help of this formula, summation X, Y minus summation X into summation Y divided by N, summation X square in minus summation X whole square divided by N, right? 
So don't get uh, scared. I will explain as I always try to explain in the best possible way, uh, in the easiest words so that everybody can easily understand, right? So <clears throat> this is, now first understand what is intercept and slope, then we'll come towards the formula and numerical solution of it as well. What is intercept? <clears throat> now, if we have this line, right? For example, now change from this point, like for example, this is one point and this is the second point, for example. So what we do here basically, sorry, uh, yes, here we have, okay, this is one point. For example, we want to move from this one point to another point. So it means we want to change. We want to see the change between these two points. So that change is called as slope. This beta will be known as slope, right? This is called as slope. Means if we move from this point to this point, like at this point, we are having that much y and that much x. And at this point, we have this much y and this much x. So if anybody want to move from one point to another point, so what is the change in the y? This is change change in y divided by change in x. So what we can do simply uh, the slope means that how much change occurs in y divided by change occurs in x. So that delta shows, I mean this triangle this is simply called as delta. That shows the change in x and this shows change in y. So it means how much change comes in y due to x. So that is basically called as slope or simply known as beta. While this, when you start the uh, plotting the data, so at the zero level, whenever the curve starts from uh, higher than the value, so that is called as intercept. So this difference is called as intercept. Or in other words, when we say when, what if X value is uh, y, zero, so what will be the Y value at that time? So at zero level, what will be the y? So I mean at zero level, what will be the y value that is called as intercept. So intercept is known by alpha and the slope is known by the beta, right? Now let's solve the question on it, right? There are six people that are selected uh, uh, for the value of age and their weight. So we now we want to predict their age and weight, whether the Weight depends upon the age or not. So there are six people, the age of uh, six children, uh, for example, the age of first child is seven, the second is six, eight, six, five, for example, and their weight is mentioned accordingly, right? Now we want to see whether uh, the, um, whether there exists, uh, whether the, uh, the age has the impact on the weight or not, right? So we have the formula. So now we are just going to calculate the values for it. X, Y, 7 into 12, that is 84, 6 into 8, that's 48, 8 into 12, 96. So summing up all these, we get 461. So this value is summation X, Y. What is X square? 7 square, 49, 6 square, 36, 8 square, 64, and so on. So we sum up all these values and we get 291. Then we need Y square. So 12 square, 144, 8 square is one, uh, sorry, 64. And similarly, we take the square of all these values and we sum up and we get this value. So this is summation y square. This is summation x square. This is summation x, y. This is summation y and this is summation x. Got it? Now we'll put these values into the formula. If you remember, this is the formula. Here we have the formula, right? So First, we need to calculate y bar and x bar. So how to calculate y bar and x bar? Look at here. x bar is summation x divided by n. n means number of observation, number of, in this case, number of children. So there were six children. So summation x is 41. You see, this is x. The value of summation x is 41 divided by six. We get 6.83 and y bar. This is 66, summation of x is 66. We take this value divided by six, we get 11, right? Now, here is a beta formula. Summation xy minus summation x into summation y 
then divided by n, then summation x square minus summation x whole square divided by n. So now you put the values into this formula to get the b value or beta value. So this is summation x y 461. You see summation x y 461. Then we have summation x 41. Summation y 66 as we have here divided by 6. The number of observation n. So you will simply multiply 41 into 66 and you will get the value divided by 6. You will get some value here, right? And then subtract it from 461. Here, what we need summation y square and summation x square. So summation x square is 291 minus summation what x square divided by 6. So we simplify all this and we get the value of what 0.92. So we had this formula now. Yeah, this one a plus bx. So now this is a 11 means y bar that is 11 b 0.96 and x bar means x minus x bar so x bar is here 6.6683 sorry 6.83 so now what we do we can put any value of x here and we can get the result like for example now we have let's suppose we want to see what if the age of the child is 8.6 sorry, 8.5, what will be the uh, weight of that uh, child, right? If age is 8.5, so we we'll simply do what? 4.675, right? Plus 0.92 into what? It is A plus BX. B, X, X is what here? 8.5, so we get 12.50. Then similarly, what here? If what if the age is 7.5? So that is 4.675 plus 0.92. And then here we put the x. So if the age is 8.5, the expected weight should be 12.50. And if the age is 7.5 of a child, the expected weight should be 11.58. So here we can draw the line. You see, if the age is 7.5, the weight should be 11 point, how much? Sorry, 11.58. So that means almost 11.6. So it will somewhat here, right? And if the age is 8.5, what should be the weight? 12.50. So this is 12.50 is somewhat here. So you see, now we can draw this from this point to this point, we can simply draw the line. Similarly, we have, you can take third value, fourth value, any age you can take, and you can put this value into the formula and you can get the result from it. So in this way, you can simply draw the line. So the more you keep on increasing the age, you will get the increase in the weight. So the value, the, the line will be somewhat here. Let's keep on increasing. So this is how we can draw the line that is called as best fit line, right? It's for this purpose, we use the regression analysis. So here is another question, age and BP. For example, this is the age of uh, people and here's a BP. Then the age, this question is continue uh, like further age and further BP. So you can take all this data and then you can calculate regression equation the way I have calculated. And then you can find out the correlation the way we have done it in the last lecture. And you can also calculate what if the age of the man is 25 years. So what would be his blood pressure? So you see there is no 25 here you can see. So there's no 25, 23, 21. So you will put the value similarly when you get the answers of alpha and beta. So you'll simply put here uh, 25 in the answers that you'll get and you'll get somewhat value here uh, from this data and you can calculate the blood pressure as well. If still there's any confusion and questions, so you can ask, right? So here something has been done for you. You see, this is, um, age and BP, then X, Y is calculated, X square is calculated for you. So it means almost uh, half of your question is calculated. So sum is also calculated. You just need to put these values, calculate Y square, and uh, you just need to put these values into the formula and you can get the answer of it, right? So half of the job is done and you just need to calculate the rest of the half and comment on it. If still there's confusion, so you can ask. I hope the concept is clear now. Thank you very much. Stay blessed and see you in the next video.